Yo, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make dark, simple piano melodies for someone like Lil Baby. Alright, so to start off with, I'm just going to go into a Keyscape and grab a piano. And I'm going to grab this natural piano. I like to use this one for these kind of melodies. And then his chord progressions are usually really simple. So what I like to do is just put a root note down, copy that root note, and then go here, here, copy this over, bring those uh, down four, and then copy it all up an octave, and then bring it all down one. So that's already sounding really cool, but I'm just going to stretch this bass note out here just to kind of fill in that blank space there. And then what I'm going to do is build like half of a chord on top of this. So actually, I'm just going to bring that uh, D sharp up an octave. Copy this over two, bring that down four. And then adjust this top note as well. And then I'm going to strum this real quick. And then also randomize it and bring it down just a little bit because it's getting a little bit loud. So now that we have this basic chord progression, I'm just going to go up and make a really repetitive top line. And then quantize this because I think it was off the grid. Do control L and then just copy this over and then lower the velocities a good bit. And then here I want it to like have some higher notes that go down. And then I'm just gonna add some like notes even higher just as like a really gentle accent Just lower these velocities as well and then bring this pattern over and then go ahead and randomize this again just because those top ones were still not randomized and then bring it down a little bit more so that's really nice and now i'm going to go back into omnisphere and grab some kind of string just to layer with like the first little bit of chords so i'm just going to go pads and strings acoustic and then I use these quite a bit, so I have some of them like starred. So I'm just going to go through the ones that have like five stars and see which one I think fits best. Yeah, so that sounds kind of cool. And it has like almost a little bit of detune, like I already put uh, IZ2 vinyl on it or something. Then I'll just move the second half down so it copies the uh, same chords. And then again, strum and randomize this. And then just tuck this in the background. And then once again, going back into Omnisphere because it's the most realistic uh, VST I have. 
but then I'm going to go grab another string, make it feel real orchestral. That's a big boy word right there. And then I'm just going to make a super simple top line, probably going off some of these notes here. And then I can do this. Yeah, so this is just actually going to copy the uh, uh, bass notes pretty much, except these are moved this way, because in the bass they would be here, but it still sounds pretty cool. I'm going to find a different sound because I don't really like that one that much. And now I'm going to add two more sounds. The first one is going to be kind of like a mallet that I'm just going to do some like little accent rolls with. Like kind of what I've been doing in the uh, Hyperpop videos with the um, marimba. But I'm a little bit more realistic sound. So I'm going to go into Ethnic World. Go to Kalimbas. And I like this felt one. And then just doing some rolls that kind of copy that faster top line up here. Send so doing Alt U there lets me chop it up. So I'm going to go like there and then maybe have this go down, then lower. So that sounds kind of interesting and then I think I'm going to duplicate this roll up an octave and get rid of that F5 there. See how that sounds. So that sounds pretty cool. Now I'm going to try this up an octave like everything up an octave. So that just sounds kind of weird so I'm going to randomize it just to make it feel more realistic. So I pretty much consider this melody like done, but like everyone knows how to make these melodies. And I feel like the little def like the little differences that you add really set like these kind of melodies apart from other people's. So I usually like to add some kind of like wacky piano or like a wacky synth sound. So I'm going to go into Omnisphere, probably stick to like Keyscape, Keyscape Creative and just find like a different kind of sound that I can use. So I'm going to go with this vintage Tremelo uh, Celeste. It sounds like this. And I think I'm just going to have this playing like one note as like, I don't know, like just like one note at the top. So maybe this F here and then just have it playing every bar. So that's a really simple pattern just to kind of spice it up just a little bit, make it a little bit more unique. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and transpose this. And something I learned recently is that so you go here, you select all the boxes, then you go to this arrow, then you go to transpose selected. So let's say I just want to put it up one, so I go plus one, enter. Now everything has moved up one uh, note. Yeah, but I don't really like the way that sounds, so I'm going to put it back down. So I'll just go minus one. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this real quick and then let you know what I do. It'll probably be a really simple mix. All right, so I just gave this a quick mix and it's really simple. I really didn't add much to it. So on the main piano, I cut the lows, but I'm actually going to put this on an automation clip so it's off for the intro because there is a good amount of bass that comes from uh, this piano. And I just put a little bit of reverb on the string that copies the chords, cut the low, dipped out of the highs, added an imager. Then on the higher string, I guess, 
I just cut the lows and then dipped a little bit out of the highs, boosted right here just a tad, and then put the shy pancake on it and just did uh, two bars. And then just added reverb on the mallet and left the, what was that, the Celeste? I left that alone. So I'm going to go here, flip by channel, copy everything over, slice it, and then start laying this out, which is really going to be pretty simple. So I just, I kind of want the mallets just for like here and maybe some parts in here. So what I'm going to do is come here and with the piano, then make it unique. Click on this and then I want to delete that uh, top line, this part. So the mallets really come through a lot more. I'm going to leave the more high pitch stuff, but just getting rid of that should free up space for them. Yeah, so really these melodies are really easy, simple to make, but I'm just going to spice mine up by using a delay on the ping pong preset and then automating that so i just like usually do this in the intro just to make it seem a little bit cooler i guess and i think i'm just gonna do these little sweeps of the reverb and then have it come up just a little bit for the uh where the drums would come in and then i'm just gonna have the amp the delay kind of do something like this maybe <laughs> Yeah, so real real simple, but I'm just going to lay out the stems and then maybe put like a crinkle effect on it just to add another layer that is pretty much just ear candy. Now that I have that in 